so today we'll be talking about exam 7355 we'll be talking about the last point in the exam in this point we will be talking about developing code that is maintainable and that support a versioning compatibility and coexistence so we'll be talking about using tf uh, tfs and get or visual studio online developing code using a standardized coding convention implementing best practice for assembly versioning implement best practice for assembly side by side execution implementing best practice for assembly placement and GAC global assembly cache some of the coding standards and naming convention is Pascal case the first letter and the fir uh, first identifier and letter of sequence word are capitalized so the first capital is uh, the first word or first the first alphabet is usually it is usually alphabet it is capitalized the camel case the first one is small uppercase all of this uh, all of them is uh, capitalized one of the examples of a dev uh, develop code using version control and standard coding conventions is TF, uh, TFS check-in policy it can also be applied to Visual Studio Online check-in uh, check policy enforce constraints every time when files are checked into source control team foundation server provide a number of out-of-box check-in policies including uh, policies that check that static code analytics has been performed and uh, policies that checked uh, that work item are associated with chicken so if we take this only this part the static code analytics is it is a way you can use the code analytics tools in visual studio to discover potential issues in your code Shatter, uh, uh, such as non-secure data access usage violations and design problems so uh, code analytics for managed code for managed code uh, manage assembly reports information to the as chat as well as programming design rules uh, so we have ide integration it's a visual studio integration so you can run it uh, code in your project automatically or manually we have something called rule sets uh, and we have something called in source uh, submission so you can suppress uh, suppress it like this one by writing this code so it will not write on that code uh, run code and it is as a part of check-in policy that's what we want so when you check in if it's not valid it will not check in we have a uh, team build it's the same thing I think it's all near near to it uh, this a nice article old one 2010 uh, it talk about five things you should be doing in your code but uh, probably aren't it's talking about some of the rules one of the rules that it can be done by code analytics is avoid and use private fields maybe and this one I d I yes and this we have um uh, for example validation argument for public methods uh, he's saying that i'm surprised how often i see them plain and simple strain from his then or reference arguments that are passed to externally visible method should be checked against nulls so if you didn't do that the visual studio or the uh, the code analysis will warn you so you like this one if you didn't check for this one it will warn you uh, uh, another one of the interesting one is the uh, uh, CA1709 it's a rule one of the rules it's in the naming identifier should be case correctly 
So if we go on to the uh, rule description, naming conviction provide a common a common lock for libraries that target common language runtimes. So if we uh, see here, by conv uh, by conventions, parameters name use camel casings. Name space types a member use Pascal casing. In camel case name, the first letter is lowercase, and the first letter of any remaining word in the name is uppercase. Example of camel case is pack sniffer, IO file, and fat. Till your fatal error code in the Pascal case name the first letter is uppercase and the first letter is only remaining word name is uppercase for example is IO files and uh, the rule is split the name into word paste in the casing and check in two letters words again list of common two words set as, as, as um, if we, so if one of the part of the word is like this one is to word it will check for is my any perceived word also check another one is like two letter must all be uppercase so D B C R K. so Pascal casing okay and this is an interesting article in visual studio online check-in policies it's the link code pen visual studio online policies google it will found it it's a new one uh, it can do it but uh, you have to check one thing that although Visual Studio now support git as virtual control checking policy is not supported if you use if you choose git in Visual Studio online and that's that these the steps you can take it like this one Also, you have to check uh, if you check this uh, video is very interesting. Also, it, it will go step by step. We also we also has an MSDN uh, article or oh, documentation how to create or update the same steps in the Team Explorer. Right click the team project name, point to team settings, and go for source control. In the source controls, select the check in policy tab and cl uh, click add create a new process double click existing code analytics examine process type and this one we have enforce check in only constraint files and other things i think that one is enough for uh, doing the, the first point and for um, best practice for side by side uh, side by side executions have strong name policies version aware isolations and for the last point implement best practice for assembly placement uh, so you can do this one as simply like this so you can do something called bind redite so this one is for the point of develop um, using this one oh yeah this point develop a code using and maintain it so this for today now